Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up media requests using stream elements. Let's get right into the video. So the first thing you want to do when setting up these song requests is you want to head over to streamelements.com and go to the left side. You want to scroll down to the bottom until you see media requests. And once you're here, you'll be prompted with this page as you can see here. Basically, uh, in your Twitch chat, your viewers can uh, put in song requests and they'll basically show up here and you can play them or delete them on your streams so the first thing you're going to do is look at the top left where you see viewer requests uh, this means this basically means that your viewers can put song requests you always want to have that checked uh, also here's Q moderation you can manually select which songs you want to play you can turn that on or off I usually keep it off so I can have the songs flowing as fast as as fast as possible so usually i have that off if you go to the right side where it says settings you can also uh, configure all the settings for media requests so up here we have media request mode basically uh, your viewers can put in requests for free or they would have to tip to put in a request or they would have to do both uh, also you have autoplay media which means your songs just keep on playing without stopping usually you want to have that on unless like i said you have q moderation on as well uh, up here we have queue limit. These are the most amount of songs you can have in the list queue. You usually can set that to 20 if you're a short streamer, set it to 20. If you're a longer streamer, you want to have it set to a higher number so you can have songs playing throughout the stream. Over here we have max uh, free request duration. This is the this is the max duration of a song. For like if there's a seven minute song, it'll be allowed through. If it's an eight minute song, it's not allowed into the queue. But you can change this however you want. But usually seven or five is a great number. I usually keep mine at five. Uh, also, this is the amount of requests that your viewers can put in. Uh, so if you have five per viewer or 10 per viewer, mods actually have unlimited requests. So this only applies to viewers. And if you set it to zero, they can have unlimited. I usually keep it unlimited. I let your viewers have some fun. But if you want to be strict, you only want a certain amount of requests. You can put five or 10 or however you want it to be. Also, Stream Moments does provide you with backup playlists. Uh, in my opinion, these backup playlists are not very good. So I usually have them disabled. And same with Shuffle backup playlists as well. Usually have that disabled. Bot and loyalty, I usually don't mess with these at all, and I'll just scroll by those for this video. Also, you can blacklist certain views as well, so if you have a troll coming to your chat that wants to play a song that you would not like your viewers to hear, you can blacklist that song before it even gets into your stream. You can also add band tags for band words as well, if you'd like to do so. Down here, we have auto filter as well. If you are a family-friendly streamer, I highly recommend you have your filters pretty high up on the list. Uh, also, this will filter videos based on their views and ratings. If a video or a song gets bad ratings, uh, it will most likely not put the song through. And if the song does not have a lot of views. But if it's a very popular song made by a popular artist, it will most likely let the song through. You can also have skip backup list mid-track upon incoming request. I usually have that unchecked. Also, uh, enable skip voting. Your viewers can also, if they're not enjoying the song that you're playing at that time, your viewers can also vote in the chat to skip out that song. Moderators have as many skips as they like, but uh, viewers only have one skip per song. Vote required. This is the amount of votes that are required to skip the following song. If you have a small stream base, I recommend you set that to one or two. But if you have a bigger stream base and your viewers want to vote which song they want, I recommend you set that to five or ten. Uh, down here, moderators are exempt to all these rules, so basically moderators can put in as many requests as they want, they can skip as many songs as they want, and they can add as many songs as they want. So if you're a viewer, you are limited to a lot of things. If you're a moderator, you're exempt from all of these co commands. Also, at the bottom, you can add a delay between videos. So this is the delay between the songs that you add in your queue. You can make it a 5 second delay or a 0 second delay. I usually keep mine to 0 so you can keep the songs pumping in your streams. Thanks guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Link in my bio for my Twitch and Discord. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me there on my Discord server. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.